Both the Golden Retriever and Golden Doodle dogs are excellent choices for families and they are one of the most popular companion dogs. But how to choose which is better fit for you? What are the similarities and differences between these two dogs? Do they differ a lot in their temperament? What about their size, coat and overall appearance? I will answer you all these questions and I will tell you all you need to know about the Golden Retrievers and Golden Doodles in this video. Let's start the video with a little bit of history and let's talk about the ancestry and development of Golden Retriever and Golden Doodle. If you will understand the origins of these dogs then it will be easier to understand the similarities and differences of these two dogs as well. The Golden Retriever is established and recognized breed and it belongs into the most popular dogs all over the world. It is a Scottish breed developed in late 1800s for gentlemen hunt by crossing flat coated retrievers with tweed water spaniels and later some other breeds. Even though the Golden Retriever is not an ancient breed it gained quickly a lot of popularity. The Golden Doodle on the other hand is not a purebred dog and it is not recognized by any major kennel clubs yet. It is a so called designer dog breed which is basically a fancy term for a crossbreed and it is a cross of a poodle and golden retriever which is why these two dogs have a lot in common. The Golden Doodle was introduced in 1990s but just like the Golden Retriever it has grown in popularity quickly. So this is a comparison of a purebred dog and a crossbreed and while while the purebred dogs typically have very stable appearance and temperament, crossbreeds are always a little bit of mystery and lottery and you truly never know what you will get. And as you can probably imagine, the pure golden retriever and golden retriever cross, the golden doodle, will have a lot of similarities in temperament and appearance and they certainly do, but there are important differences as well. Let's start with the appearance comparison. The body type and structure is similar. Both breeds have a relatively strongly built body, broad head, strong neck, deep chest and well sprung ribs. The main appearance differences are in their size and coat type. The difference in size is caused by the crossbreeding with poodle. As you might know, poodles come in three different sizes, toy, miniature and standard. And because of that, the size range of golden doodle is huge. The standard golden doodle is typically 50 to 78 pounds heavy and 20 to 24 inches tall, which is 22 to 35 kilograms and 50 to 60 centimeters but the miniature golden doodle type is only 15 to 40 pounds heavy which is 7 to 18 kilograms and considerably shorter than the standard version. Unlike the golden doodle whose appearance is unpredictable the golden retriever is very consistent when it comes to appearance traits and according to the breed standard the height of golden retriever is between 51 to 61 centimeters which is 20 to 24 inches and weight is usually between 25 to 34 kilograms which is 50 to 75 pounds. Females tend to be slightly smaller than males. And what about the coat? Well, the coat of Golden Retriever is again predictable, as it is always a combination of long, flat or slightly wavy outer coat and very dense undercoat that is providing weather resistance. The coat color is always some kind of shade of gold or cream. On the other hand, the Golden Doodle can inherit the coat type either from the Golden Retriever or Poodle, or it can be a combination of both coats. But the most common coat type is very different from the Golden Retriever's coat, as most often you will find Golden Doodles with tight curls and they can also come in different color other than gold or cream and they are even black Golden Doodles. The coat is actually one of the main reasons why Golden Doodles were bred in the first place. Most often breeders aim to develop a dog with the sweet temperament of Golden Retriever but with non-shedding Poodle's coat. It is because the Golden Retrievers have one of the best personalities for companions dog but their coats shed a lot. So in theory the Golden Doodle would be the perfect combination of both, the Golden Retriever and the Poodle. But the genetics doesn't always work like that and some Golden Doodles truly are non-shedding but some others will shed some deal. If you want to know how much your Golden Doodle will shed you can always just look at the coat type and you will get the idea of the amount of shedding. Good identification sign for Golden Doodles are their facial hair and face in general. If the dog has a lot of furnishing such as mustache, goatee or visible eyebrows, they will most likely have the poodle low shedding coat. On the other hand, if they like this furnishing and they have open face like golden retriever, then they have much higher chance of shedding. In general, the more curly the coat is, the less it sheds. If it's wavy, then it might shed some more. So now you know what is the difference between these two dogs in their appearance, but what about their temperament? Most often the temperament of both dogs is very similar 
Both dogs are considered as gentle natured, very affectionate, quite lively, intelligent and extremely tolerant. The Golden Doodle might not have as high retrieving instincts, but most often they do love retrieving just as much as Golden Retrievers. There was a behavioral study in 2019 which states that Golden Doodles compared to their parent breeds on average displayed greater dog rivalry, dog directed aggression, dog directed fear and stranger directed fear than purebred Golden Retrievers or Poodles. But I do not believe that the difference in the temperament is that big. And it's also important to remember that the temperament is not only about the genetics, because factors such as socialization, training and experiences are maybe even more important than the genetics itself. Grooming and maintenance is another area where you can find some differences between the Golden Retrievers and Golden Doodles. The Golden Retriever grooming routine is quite simple. Regular brushing is more than enough to minimize the shedding, redistribute the natural oils and to keep the coat tangled and matte free. On the other hand, the grooming of Golden Doodle depends on the coat type they inherit. If they have flat and long Golden Retriever's coat, then the grooming is the same as with its parent breed. But if they have the more common curly and poodle-like coat, then the maintenance is a little bit harder. Then it is recommended to go to the groomer for a trim regularly, approximately every 6 to 8 weeks. Doing this step will prevent their curly hair from growing too long and getting tangled. So it is true that on average the Golden Doodle sheds considerably less than a Golden Retriever and some of them are almost non-shedding, but the grooming is a little bit harder and more expensive. The last area I will mention in this video is health. It is only logical that the Golden Doodles might be prone to the same health issues as its parent breed, the Golden Retriever. Those mainly include health problems like hip and elbow dysplasia, cataracts and other eye problems, bloating and some skin allergies. There is a theory that the crossbreed, in this case the Golden Doodle, should be healthier than the purebred dog due to the larger gene pool. But in reality, crossbreeds are very often bred poorly by backyard breeders which is causing serious health issues. Of course, even the pure Golden Retriever can be bred by bad breeder and you should always buy the puppy only by reputable breeders. It can be said that the standard size Golden Doodle has similar health issues and lifespan as the pure Golden Retriever, which is around 12 to 13 years. The miniature sized Golden Doodle will have slightly longer lifespan, around 15 years. This is typical for older dogs and in general smaller dogs live longer than larger ones. I hope this video answered all the questions about the differences and similarities between the Golden Doodle and Golden Retriever. If not, type me in comments, I will most likely read your comment and try to answer it. Also, tell me in comments if you own a Golden Doodle or Golden Retriever and what is your experience with it. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocka Dogs links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.